How's it going guys? This is John McLennan and I'm here with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And something that we've discussed before is triads on the lower strings. So for instance, if I take an A chord and I play 5, 4, 2, and then I invert that chord, and then I invert it again, and then even again, I get some cool voicings that you can use, you know, if you're playing in a band for creating secondary guitar parts, and ideally just the more voicings and inversions you can, uh, you know, get into your vocabulary, the better. So check it out. We're going to go through, we're going to take this chord now, and instead of inverting it, which is what I showed you before, we're going to harmonize the entire scale. So here we've got the, be sure to click the link below for the tabs for these, but here's the first chord, A, which is going to be 5, 4, 2, and then I'm going to go to a B minor, which is going to be 7, 5, 4, and then C sharp uh, minor, which is going to be 9, 7, 6, and then again, that's the minor shape, notice I just changed one note, now when I go to the major, I lift that note, raise it a half step, I get the major chord, pinky, third finger, first finger, frets, 10, 9, and 7. Then I move that up a whole step to get E. And then I'm going to get the F sharp minor, go to that minor shape, G sharp minor 7, uh, or G sharp diminished, and then, so this chord here would be 16, 14, 12, and then resolving there to the tonic one chord up the octave. Uh, so real great sounding chords. Be sure to practice those and you can of course move them around to any key. If I take that down a half step I've got... Uh, you know the key of A flat. Here's back up at A. just for knowing those voicings on the lower strings. So practice it in ideally all 12 keys. We'll see you next time.